as well. Hey what's up guys, Darkbreaker here and in today's video we are going to play the new champion Swain with a heavy poke build. So if you guys are interested to see how good Swain can be as a poking mage in the mid lane, I'm experimenting with the builds. So in this um, little gameplay we are gonna make Ludens Echo our core item and make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys wanna see uh, how good Swain is in the mid lane and um, how much burst damage this guy can do so the, for, for the first item we are using ludens echo it gives you really good poke damage uh, thanks to the stats and the passive on top of that it's giving you 20 abilities so you can use uh, so you can spam your abilities more often especially the first ability your main poking tool plus the more abilities you have the better it is for your second ability so you can use your long range second ability poke to stack up your fragments to get more hp then uh, i actually got pendant for even more burst damage in the early game um this uh this part i got the pendant you can finish pendant into infinity top plate if you guys wanted to i just got pen uh, pendant for additional magic penetration for the early game doing even more damage then death cap giving you tons of ap obviously for every ability you are gonna do more damage and on your ultimate you are gonna heal more with the uh the more ap you have i think rylas is a great core item because it gives you hp and additional slow whenever you're damaging opponents especially with the ultimate you will damage all the opponents and you will slow them all down so it's easier for you guys to land your first and third ability then void save for the magic penetration obviously in the late game so you guys can reduce the magic resistance from the opponents another good item is obviously rip maker gives you a lot of ability haste and sustain uh, the omni vamp is so useful so you guys will heal even more on top of your ultimate and there are so many other good options maybe leandri in the late game if they're tanky for more percentage damage on your ultimate or abilities banshee's veil to block abilities um, against magic uh, damage team comes very good reflector uh, against physical damage or twin guard twin guard also great option if you guys want to play a more tanky swain but we are not using a uh, road of age into twin guard road of age is like super super good as well on swain for more um tanky scaling swain but if you guys want to play a, a full ap standard swain with road of age that's also fine because this item is so great and synergizes really well on swain but i just wanted to try out the ludens echo burst poke build instead of like the the classic road of age scaling build uh that i also used on the support uh, build already anyway so i wanted to try out a different build but i think road of age is probably one of the best core items uh, in combination with death cap and rylas obviously and then last maybe a twin guard maybe a rift maker twin guard rift maker also great options and then for the runes you can use electrocute for burst damage or conqueror for more sustained team fighting damage then gathering storm for scaling triumph also good um for extra sustain and team fights bone plating to reduce damage you can also use um ultimate shield obviously or this one and then uh i think this is still hunter genius for ability haste just updated icon but yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed it and let's hop right into it bam and the new champion swain in the mid lane and i am honestly not sure if we are just gonna gonna go for this standard tanky um yeah the tanky swain option or i think in this game we are actually gonna try ludens echo we are experimenting with the build guys before some people are flaming why are you not going road of age road of age i know is a very good item on uh, swain but apparently like if i'm watching like all the pc guides no one is using luda uh, no one is using road of age um on swain so i want to try out the ludens echo penetration build with void staff death cap and then later on maybe rylai's twingard or leandri so instead of um road of age which makes you more tanky we are gonna try ludens echo and see how it works third ability for guys who don't know yet is your root 
Um, first ability is your main damage. Second ability is your long range poke that can reveal people and get fragments. And with fragments you get HP from your passive. I'm playing on 300 MS, so don't expect too much. If I was playing on 15 MS, I would obviously smurf completely. It's a PvP game. So let's see how it goes. Skill order, third ability first, then second, and then first. But you max the first ability and then the second ability. Nice last hitting Dark Breaker. I'm last hitting with 300 MS, don't flame me, guys. Anyways, what's your guys' opinion about Swain? And would you guys like to see some AD, new ADC builds or Master Yi with a new build? There are actually a lot of new builds uh, with the new crit items, but... But, big problem. You know what's the big problem? Ah, my Pokemon, nice. Ooh, I did hit him, nice. Ooh, ooh. Um, big problem, I played 300 MS. If I was playing on a different ping, it would be so nice. Q as well. If he walks up, we can use W as well. That's lost and done. Okay, use W. Mm hmm. And no E. Why do he hit him with E? And no Q. My Graves is coming. I don't die! Yes! And we get first blood. Great. I should have ignited earlier. I don't think he would flash. I wasn't sure if he would flash or not. I feel like I like the Rylas bit way more though. Rylas makes you so tanky. I like Rylas way more. Oh, guys. Okay, fuck it. We go full burst damage. I do like Rylas way more though. I actually do. Rylas gives you more HP. Your passive gives you more HP. And then you can use your ultimate in team fights because your playstyle is like uh, Morgana Lilia. Like, you're not like a Zix or Oriana. you like, you go into them. So, let's see if it works. I mean, it probably works because we're playing... Ooh, you're waved there though with the Q. The shorter you are, because you see the lightning bolts right here? The shorter or closer you are to the opponent, the more likely you're going to hit them with five balls and the more damage you will do. Oh well, yeah, Swain's kit is pretty simple to be fair. Uh, the ultimate transforms you into the Demon Raven King. The Demon Raven King. And you do AoE damage that heals you, and then you can recast, and the more you he uh, heal, the more damage you will do in total. And plus you have the base damage after the recast. Hmm. Ooh, maybe I ro can rotate top side. Ooh, and we get some fragments. Oh, I didn't hit him. Ooh, ooh, the Q poke though is so low cooldown. Damn, baby. Enemy. Top lane fight. Jace is winning. I'm moving top lane, maybe, maybe not. I'll take the plant at least. No. Bam! Nice! Dude, the damage though. Due to CC chain. I like what I see. Okay, moving. Maybe I can hit them with a W long range. Imagine I hit someone with a W here. Ooh, 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 the wave clear though with Ludens. Ludens Q wave clear. Oh, baby. That's sexy. It's sexy. It's sexy. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm cringe. Um, it is very good though. Okay, we're gonna get the penetration right here. Penetration build. 
And then afterwards, avoid, avoid stuff. You guys might be wondering why, because it's the most gold efficient build to burst people down. Honestly, I, th I don't think you have to go out on uh, Swain because he's not an assassin necessary. I think Death Cap gives you so much value for the healing, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go Death Cap and, uh, and not Void. I think Death Cap uh, makes way more sense. Since you're not the typical assassin, you're like your AP tank Bruiser. That's your place, I would say. Normally. We're just trying out a different build instead of the Rylas build. Since we uploaded support Swain already with the Rylas build, or the Road of Age Rylas build, so you guys already know how it could be in team fights. So I don't have to repeat myself. He's gonna get slowed? Yeah, perfect. He's gonna get slowed again, and now he's gonna get rooted by me. And now I'm waiting, and boom, Q, and we get him. Let's go. Boom, Q in your face. Dude, the cooldown is three seconds only. Boom. I like Swain, honestly. I used to play Swain a lot on PC, but then, uh, his ultimate used to be different. And his second ability was the root, if I'm not wrong. Like, you cast it like an AoE root if they stepped into it. Oh, wait. We're kind of winning pretty hard, though. I'm not gonna lie. My top lane is winning so hard, wow. I think I'm gonna get Mercs. I could get CDR, but I think I'm gonna get Mercs. Because you walk into them. Okay, next item is gonna be Death Cap. I think I might go bot lane. Just for more action. I feel like bot lane, there's more action gonna happen. In. Ooh, ooh, Kaiser's fighting. Oh, Shalusha. Oh, top sides. Dude, if I had blue buff, that would be so nice, though. I think we'll go top side and see what's there. Okay, there's one Garen. I could root him flashy. I could flashy for root. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oh shit. No, I'm too squishy. Never mind. I thought Garen would come as well. Oh, I mean. <laughs> Get kited, bitch. Where's my team? Uh Rylas would make you so much more tanky. Ooh, the rocket. Uh, didn't reach any one of them. I'm gonna die now. I went too close. I went too close to the sun. I'm Icarus. I went too close to the sun. Too close. Um, what can I say? I think Rylize is better than Luden. It makes you more tanky. You can play more aggressive. You can walk up to them with the ultimate. Like, Road of Age. Maybe you don't get Rylize early on. But maybe you can get Rylize early on as well. <laughs> Personally, um... Unless you have like a front line in any ways. I mean, you can also have a front line. Um, yeah, but I still think you would just go uh, Rylize every time. It's, it's too good synergy. Gold efficient, scales really well. It's just too good. <laughs> Ooh, he hit him even. But Luden does work. Like, I just have to play it differently. Like, with W poke, etc. W poke, Q poke, kite them back. Don't hard engage, like I've been doing. It's gonna get slowed down. Nice. 
Oh, I'm not in range. Oh no. Ooh, that wave though. Ooh, no, I want that wave. I got the wave, I got death cap, and then I'm gonna reset. Plus second ability gives you vision, by the way, it's a pretty useful ability. Okay, we have death cap, we're gonna reset. I think I would get Rylice afterwards. I think I would now get Rylice so I get more tanky. Yeah, now I get Rylice. And it gives it gives me extra additional slow as well, which is super useful. You could go you could get Luden, Death Cap, Rylice or something as well if you guys really want to. I think Rylas is such a good score item as well. Do you know why? For the for the HP you're getting, for the additional slow utility you're getting as well. Okay, maybe this was not a good idea. No, it was not a good idea. I think if I'd ride, I, I think if I'd Road of Age, I could have uh, done that play. Like, I would be tank enough to do that play. But since I don't have, okay, Chad, listen, no Luren's echo. Right, uh, Road of Age. To be fair, I'm playing too aggressive with the build I'm playing. I'm so used to this Bruce or Swain that they can just soak up so much damage. I should play him differently than what I'm doing. I think the build is fine if you just play him less aggressive and just focus on poking. Because at the end of the day, this is like a poke build, not like the Wow, I'm insane frontliner, I'm just running everyone down build. If you get me. Ooh, this juicy. Wow. The fighting again, but we're also never grouping up for a fight. I think if we we're grouping up for a fight, it would be so different as well. Like if Grace, Grace is just AFK farming right now, but if we were grouping together five men, um, I could do what I just did better. Lol. Oh, actually, my poke is pretty damn good though. It's pretty damn good. Like, not gonna lie. I wonder why we can just never group, by the way. Ooh, that hit. Man, why can't you just go in, bro? Why can't you go in, Grace? Play with me! Play with me, Grace! Where's he going? Baron? Oh, maybe he gets get Baron, okay. That's good. Oh, oh, they might know. Actually, they don't know yet. They don't know yet. We need to hurry up. They're coming. Oh my god, and I die immediately. They're fucking everyone is, everyone is there. <laughs> everyone is there. I just die immediately. Nuke by the CC. And then now I'm getting Ooh, Riftmaker is so good as well for the sustain. Yeah, I'm gonna get Riftmaker. Oh, he's using Oh Crit Jays with Collector and uh, Essence Reaver. Essence Reaver is uh, updated now. And Collector gives you armor pen as well. Actually, this build is not bad. Mana Mune, Collector, and Essence Reaver. My man is uh, five head. And now he's getting Cereal or something. My man is five head. So he has uh, like so much crit rate as well. Enemy. 
L lol, I just nuked them. Did you see that nuke? <laughs> Did you see that AP nuke on them? I wonder if he's actually gonna end the game here already. I think so. Is Mr. Grace tryharding? Yeah, he's gonna try to end the game. Yeah, GG's. Um, I guess that's good for the game. Um, final opinion. Luden works, but you have to play him a little bit differently, like more poke oriented with the first and second ability and kite back. Instead of like just running them down, uh, like your uh, your rumble with the Rylai's Road of Age build. Interesting. Yeah, there's so many new build options, by the way, with the new items. Collector, Essence Reaver, getting uh, changed, and uh, Sheepo. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush